What is up, people? Welcome to the new video. We just talked about Hogwarts Legacy and the possible leak release date, which I still hope is true. I can't wait to play this game, but I kept thinking about Hogwarts Legacy and I kind of kept thinking about what would I like to see in the game. Some things are probably already like low-key confirmed, but also how I would like to see them implement these things into the game. So I just basically came up with a small like top five list of like the things that I really want them to do and want them to do well. And this is like my kind of take on how I would like to see it in the game. So to start off, the houses are in the game and you will be um, in one of those houses because it's Hogwarts, you're a student there, you will be in one of those houses. Uh, just like the way how that will work, I am kind of wondering, um, at least I want to have maybe two options, at least two options though. Option one is the most simplest option. You just get to pick which house you're in. It's really easy. So you can just go through the game in the house you're most comfortable with. Let's just keep it at that, right? And I know that's important for a lot of people. Um, I, it's a couple of years ago, but I did the test myself and I was, uh, I, I love Rivendor, but I was Ravenclaw. So um, if I don't like Ravenclaw that much and I did the test in the game and it came out to be Ravenclaw, I, I don't know if I would be disappointed, but I would be like, I kind of want to go with Gryffindor. So um, having the option just to like literally choose, I want to be in that house, I think is one of the maybe needed options in the game. Option two is to take the test. Simple, just take the test, get sorted that way. Um, it won't be like through a randomizer, uh, just like... You go to the, the sorting hat ceremony, you get like a couple of questions, uh, like not that long, like not a lot of questions, but um, those those answers to those questions will determine what house you'll be in, what like house you're best suited for. Um, and there could still be like an option at the end of that if you're happy with the choice and if you're not, you're like, ah, oh, I do want to pick Hufflepuff instead of like Ravenclaw and you can still pick that. Maybe a side note is where I would like a mode where you can just click on, give me the most authentic Wizarding World um, experience right now. And that way you go through the Sorting Hat ceremony, whatever comes out, comes out. You cannot change that at all. And you just have to play the game through, like, uh, in the house you're in. What I do also wonder is, like, do the houses have... Um, like actual stats, do they give you perks or like disadvantages um, while playing through the game? Like if you're in Gryffindor, and I'm just making stuff up right now, but like if you're in Gryffindor, um, does it give you maybe like a perk for learning combat skills faster? But uh, one of the disadvantages is that maybe you you lack in brewing potions. That's like harder for you to learn as a Gryffindor. Um, you would still be able to get to like the same level, but uh, it, it, it's going to be maybe a little bit harder. You maybe have to do maybe uh, more things to get to that level, but it's still like it's a disadvantage just to be a better potions master, I guess. Um, I was kind of thinking about if there are companions in the game. Um, I think that would be like a cool perk for a Hufflepuff uh, where you get like a bonus to certain stats if you're with companions and then maybe a disadvantage could be like learning some sort of spells that that are just maybe harder for you to learn I like it's just it's it's just examples you know <laughs> but it would be really cool though I like I also think it would be really cool that being in a certain house would give you like um, some sort of advantage in, in other things as well. Just a couple more examples. Um, but this could work out in a way um, in how you want to play the game. Like you want to be, uh, I don't know, I think that's an option. I've, I've heard that somewhere like be a good character or a bad character and maybe how your relationships will be with certain teachers or other students. Uh, also, of course, like where your common room is located and how that will tie in with how you move around the, like Hogwarts Castle 
and I, I think like giving houses actual gameplay stats would make them um, more, more feel more realistic have more of a meaning for picking a certain type of uh, for picking a certain house I think that would be uh, I think that would be really cool for the experience though and then second like learning spells and brewing potions um this is something that i really want them to do well and i like i know everybody wants them to do well because it's it's a very integral part of the wizarding world um but i don't want it to be like too easy too on the nose with learning stuff and and maybe leveling up stuff like potions or spells I also hope you can like create your own spells, potions, charms and everything, but it should be within the limits of the wizarding world universe in what you can do, like not the most craziest stuff, but um, if it's in within limits, you could probably like come up with a spell for that. But I also think there needs to be like uh, a sense of adventure behind this uh, easy spells and potions and and charms can be learned at schools in the classes and also like getting getting the ingredients for potions and everything are found in those classes yeah but it would be really awesome to find like recipes and spells in the overall world um, whereas you can just like have quests to find spells or find ingredients to start brewing new potions um but also like a cool thing would be to talk to npcs and maybe do quests for them and like a rewards for those quests are um new new spells new new information i guess or maybe build up like trust with them so like you the more you do for them um the more knowledge they will share with you that you cannot learn at hogwarts uh, what also I think would be pretty cool if, if like, coming back to the previous point with the houses, if you find out somebody was in uh, Hufflepuff and you're in Hufflepuff, you might get like a dialogue option um, that says like, oh, I'm I'm a Hufflepuff right now, and that that's like a plus point for that person right there and. Um, I think that would be really cool so you can get more done, you can get more information, you can learn more about the world. Um, this should be balanced, but I think that could be a really cool uh, feature to the game. And then what I would really love is um, events that create the wizarding world. Um, we see this in the trailer, uh, we see people with Quidditch gear and everything, but... It would be really awesome if they could implement like really cool uh, maybe mini game as where you get to play Quidditch. Not mandatory, but it's optional, and then you can maybe uh, try out for the team or just play on the team and and play Quidditch and even um, win house points by playing Quidditch and winning games and everything. Um, I think it would also be cool if. There's events in the overall world in which you might not be able to partake in or even visit. Um, one of those things, like coming back maybe to Quidditch, is the Quidditch League, where you might not be able to visit it or uh, partake in it in the event itself. But um, you can hear people talk about it on, like in Hogsmeade or in Hogwarts itself and see like decorations hanging around for like certain teams that play. I think that could be really, really um, like extra to building the world around you. And I think that could be such an awesome extra experience in the world. Just you don't have to even see it happen as long as it happens, right? Well, something to might actually partake in uh, might be the Wizarding School Potions Championship. Oh, that's a mouthful. <laughs> but this to, like could tie into the previous idea, as if, uh, as in, if you find rarer potions or like better ingredients, you have a better chance of winning the championship. Or when you win the championship with the normal stuff that you have at at school laying around, um, you might get like uh, a new potions to make you get like access to better ingredients to make uh, more complicated stuff which I think could be really awesome as well 
or even like one extra thing and um it says your the game plays out in the late 1800s i we don't know when in the late late 1800s it's going to be um but maybe seeing the effects of the like the degree of the reasonable restriction of underage sorcery i wrote that down as well because that is also a mouthful but um basically they know when you do magic when you're underage and maybe see that have an effect on the the world around you with the students um and if you go outside of hogwarts how that will work out i guess that that would be also like a a pretty cool thing to see there's a lot of stuff happening through the decades um that always happened that could like really build the world up to have a full world and to have like a really awesome experience one thing that we most definitely won't see is the triwizard tournament because um that was discontinued at some point at 1792 so just before the 1800s and it only got revived back in 1994 um where we saw it again in the goblet of fire and harry was the fourth instead of three people there were four people and harry was the fourth participant that had to join in with the triwizard tournament um but that will most definitely not be in the game and then like um something i like i write stuff down and this is something that's a short list like a short short thing but i do hope for a good customization feature in the game outside of like customize customizing your uh your character itself in the beginning of the game uh which we saw in the leaked footage from 2018 don't know if that is still in the game and how like well done that was but um maybe having some preset stuff or maybe being able to like fully customize uh i think it's fallout where you can i want my eyes to be this far apart my nose to be this thick or thin i want my mouth to be all the way down on my chin for some reason um that could be really awesome and i think that could be like a really good um tool for people to immerse themselves even more in the game but even beyond that um choosing or creating your own wand would be really cool like how 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 big is your wand what is the core of your wand? What kind of material is it made of? Um, I think that would be really awesome. But also uh, having... It's maybe a small thing though, but like having a like the way... Like clothing outside of school robes would be a really cool idea just to customize even more. Um, and then one more thing. Like we saw that in the trailer already. We saw cats and owls, but... Are you able to pick your own pet? Do you have a pet? Wait, maybe even... Do you want a pet, yes or no? And if so, can you pick one? And is it if that's one of the choices, can you pick a cat or an owl? Or can you even go with uh, rats, toads, or even like a small magical creature that just... Um, Maybe not even chills with you all the time, but is maybe in your dorm or whatsoever. That can like be a really cool extra thing just to get even more of a feeling you're a part of the world instead of just playing through it. And then for the last thing, I just want to have a world that is being lived in. And with this, I mean um, that we like that we get to see a lot of the world. Uh, I want to see Hogwarts, of course, and the grounds around Hogwarts. But I also would love to see the Forbidden Forest and more like really unique places. Um, and I would love these places to be filled with interesting people that like to talk to, obtain quests from, um, have like dungeons to go through with, with really cool rewards or information, side quests, main stories. Um, and outside of that, being able to go to like Hogsmeade Village, uh, Diagon Alley, Nocturne Alley, um, that would be really awesome. But also going through the Ministry of Magic, I think that would be really, really cool to see in the game. Just like maybe a lot of fan service, also a lot of like places we know. Um, but also I would love to see a lot of places we haven't seen before um, that could be significant or not could be just like 
some random places you visit, but these can contain uh, dungeons and whatever you can think of, right? Yeah, but I, like, there were some old rumors, and I think some of those rumors were debunked, and some of them were kind of true, where you would start in your fifth year, which could overlap with the fact that it says you're a late student to Hogwarts, and you will follow a path from the fifth year on to your first year as an Auror, which could mean you will not only get to see the Ministry of Magic, but you get to work in it. So um, it could happen. I'm not sure in like how far that's true, but I think that would be really awesome just to go through yourself. The most important thing for me with this game is that it feels like it's, it's so important to build uh, like a, a living world where you get the feeling you're really a part of it. I've, I think I've said it a couple of times before though, but it's so important to feel you're a part of the world instead of going through missions and missions and you're just going through a game. Um, that's like what makes the movies and the books so uh, so much fun to read through and to watch, at least for me, is that you get the feeling you're really a part of like the wizarding world itself and I, I really love that and yeah I, I would love if this game would have a really good replayability factor because if the world building is done really well and like the the the, the couple of wishes that I have for this game are in there in some form or another and maybe even more than that uh, this game could have such a big potential just to like play through at least a couple of times um, just to see how 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 the world is going to react when you make different choices, you take a different path, you pick a different house. Like if you want to go through the, like the main storyline the first time around, not focus on side quest, that's possible. But if you want to go through it again, it just changes the game so ever so slightly when you do more side quest. It would also be really cool if like house points were in the game, and if that would have an effect or not but you can win the house cup or not or maybe just barely just lose it right i think that would be a cool idea as well there was also an interview done with one of the designers of the game i think it was a sound designer it's not on youtube anymore it's i think still on reddit but um and i think i'm gonna quote yeah this i'm gonna quote that right now he said there's a lot of stuff for people who aren't interested in casting angry spells so if that is true that could be really really awesome though like if you want to replay it and you don't want to focus that much on spell casting or whatsoever you might be able to become like a potions master and play through the game in a totally different kind of way like still main story is going to be main story but going through the main story by taking a completely different path that could be really really awesome and give you like a lot of freedom to just to, to play through it again and have a completely different experience. I think that would be really, really cool. And that's kind of what I personally would love to see. And in all honesty, the more time I can spend in the Wizarding World, the better. I think it's amazing and I would love them to do well with this game. But yeah, all this, of course, is like what I would like to see and is my opinion and how I would like to see things being implemented. I'm kind of curious in what you would like to see in the game. So leave that in the comments down below. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video. Bye bye.